Hey YouTube, I am back. I am exactly four weeks post that to the day. So I thought I'd do another video. Well, no, I said I wasn't going to do another video, but I tricked y'all because I decided to do another video. But for the now, reason I'm my handy dandy little box. So, um, this has been my little special box. If you notice, I have a uh, um, lozenges. I think I mentioned that in another video, but. I think this is helping me with my swallow. Those of you that have had like a weak swallow and been struggling um, with swallowing food and, and pills and vitamins and whatnot, I, I say work it. So I'm constantly sucking on lozenges and keeping it active and going my throat. The other thing I wanna share, this was something I was told to go get vitamin E oil. Can you see that? Um, this is to help with the scar. Uh, I was told to apply this, my little lumpy scar. I don't know why mine's so lumpy. But anyways, it's supposed to, um, help make your scar minimal. I don't know if you guys are, um, if you know anything about or ever have tried, but I'm very into essential oils. Uh, one of my favorite brands is Genesis Pure. It's one of the only organic stamped essential oils. And I have like tons. Okay, so they're very concentrated and um, a lot of these aid in different healing. Um, one of the things that I struggled with, with um, after the surgery was sleeping. Ever since I've had this color on, I have a hard time sleeping and while the doctor has now allowed me to take it off at night for rest, when I was having to wear it, it threw off my, my day and nights. And so while everybody was asleep at my house, I was up till 4 a.m. walking and pacing and crying and not being able to get to sleep. So um, I did start using the lavender oils, and it's really helped out a lot. And there's also some oils that aid in healing, and I think um, it's really boosted my, my healing process. So I've used some of those for that purpose. Um, I did start to get a rash by applying them directly to the skin. So I went and got me some coconut oil and they have the organic extra virgin and it smells, oh my gosh, it smells so good. So um, if you do decide, this is, um, this is great for your skin. It's good for your hair, it's good for everywhere. It's edible, it's yummy and it smells delicious. So um, yeah, trying this with, uh, to, to dilute your oils and then using the oils for healing and aiding in um, boosting up your immune system has really helped me to get energy, to get sleep, for healing, for all kinds of stuff. So I really liked it for that. Something else I wanted to share. Um, oh yeah, that's what it was. I wanted to share with you guys um, some of the meds that I was taking. You guys have shared what you were taking prior and after so I never did share that. Okay, so. When I first had all these issues kind of take place, they put me on amitriptyline, which helps aid with anything neurologically. And that is something you take at night. And then the pain uh, got worse, and so we went to uh, Vicodin. And then we alternated Vicodin with Tylenol and Codeine. And then they were getting worried because weeks had passed and, and I wasn't getting better and that's a lot of meds to take for a while. So I went on what's called a Butran patch. Uh, we started at the low dose and eventually went up to the highest dose because the pain was intense. And it's a, a patch that you just stick on your arm and you wear for a week and it constantly releases meds. It's an opiate. And alongside that, I was taking the tramadol and the muscle relaxer. I forgot the name of the muscle relaxer. The spasms for uh, muscle spasms. And then as, after surgery, post-surgery, I've just been doing Vicodin and val Valium, which I rarely take. I went back onto the Valium um, a couple weeks ago just to aid in sleeping at night. And the Vicodin I take uh, every once in a while for I get a headache in the back of my head. And that's about it. So um, I think that's about it for now. I go in in two weeks and we'll know more then. So hopefully I can get through... Halloween. I've got kids. I've got trick-or-treating coming up. I have a trunk or treat tonight and I have um, oh my gosh, I've got tonight, Friday night and 
and Saturday, Halloween. Lots of trunk or treating and trick or treating, a haunted house. I have so much going on. So, um, hopefully, I get through it because I've been laying around for the past month healing. So, this is going to be really hard. But uh, I hope everybody out there is uh, healing good and getting up and about and enjoying themselves, their families, their loved ones. And I wish you all the best.